What's up everybody, I'm your host Joseph and welcome to Fictioning Flow. Today we're bringing another comic breakdown with the new Punisher from writer David Prepose. Let's check this out. Frank Castle's out and the new Punisher is in. Let's get into it. The story kicks off with two detectives investigating a murder case. Detectives Linus and Ward are on the scene and they're at the garrison house trying to figure out what exactly happened. They're already tired. This is the early morning shift, so they know it's going to be a troublesome case to begin with. The detectives talk to the medical examiner to find out exactly what happened. And he lets them know this place belongs to Joe and Stephanie Garrison and their kids, Laura and Danny. So Linus asked Detective Ward to check the vents to see if anything was there. And of course, there you have it. A bomb is still left unexploded. Then cut to the infamous Black Dragon Club, a local watering hole for the Inner Demon Gang. If you played the Spider-Man games, you know this is the lackeys for Mr. Negative. So they're checking it out. This one guy mysteriously sitting at the bar just having a drink, but he's not like the Inner Demons. He looks different. Then all of a sudden, the door bursts open and someone's there looking to find out some information. This mysterious stranger is letting the demons know that he's looking for a terrorist named Sergei Fedorov, that he recently bombed a family inside their home. The demons let the stranger know that the Sokovian paid them handsomely to protect them. And there's eight of us and one of you. And I love this line. He's like, for now. So he's getting ready to get at it. So watch out, demons. Here he comes. They cut to the two detectives discussing the case saying it was in a drug deal that went wrong. And they doubt it because it's in the suburbs. And that their wife was a secretary and the husband was a retired accountant. And I love how this new Punisher is actually using energy-based weapons, not handguns like Frank Castle, the original Punisher, would use. So now the detectives speculate could have been a, someone posing as a repairman or if it's somebody that the victims already knew. And I love how the demons are saying, look, he's winded now. This is our opportunity to take him. So now the two demons rush the new Punisher. He takes out the first one and the second one. He's like, I'm going to avenge my brothers. You cannot do this. And he was just like, avenge this. And he hits him with one of the bottles over the bar. So a classic Punisher move. Using anything and everything around him. And the detectives still trying to speculate what happened in this murder. Now this big demon is like, that all you got hitting me with a bottle? He was like, yeah, you're the one covered in rum and I'm the one with the lighter. And he gives him a Mortal Kombat Scorpion Fatality. Whoosh, burn him in the flame. He cut back to the detectives and they said they're forgetting one prime subject. We found all the bodies except for the husband. He cuts our full first reveal of the new Punisher. All right, here we go. He has kicked off his career perfectly. Now cut to a secret S.H.I.E.L.D. bunker and we're reading the thoughts from Joe Garrison as he talks about there was this group of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents that were like focused on like what works and espionage that were kind of off the books like they took out some Hydra Generals, took out Splinter Cells and that they he had a handler named AAA. So for those of you who know the old school Punisher, this reminds me of the relationship between Punisher and Micro who was also like the Punisher's handler and like weapons expert. But I love that re they are reestablishing this type of relationship between the Punisher and the handler. Okay, they're watching a news report from this witness who saw what happened with the Indian demons and they're saying that the person had a skull on his chest who was fighting them. So they're like, is Frank Castle back or is there a new Punisher on the loose? And he's basically talking to his handler and she's like, look, I know they kind of accuse you, but we got to find a Sokovia and that's the only way to clear your name and bring him back in alive. And he's like, that doesn't matter. All I got to find is who sent him to do this job so I can take them out. Give it up to the artist because it is a shield emblem on his shoulder, but parts of it have been covered up to even look like a skull instead of an eagle. Great attention to detail right there. Triple A has let Punisher know that she has outfitted all his weapons with something called Reaper bullets that have a tracking component to them. And she's like, are you ready to be one of the Shields grave diggers again? And she's like, I'm not too sure, but I know I promised my wife that I'm never coming back home until I finish all of this stuff. So he is on a mission. So now the Sokovian is on the run again, trying to find another higher group to protect him. He basically tells his group, I'll pay you $10 million in mutant growth hormone if you can protect me and stop me. And this guy with his glasses are looking like, oh, that's exactly what I need. This would be a worthwhile deal. This, it'd be perfect. And for those of you who know, this is a guy named Dr. Zorbo. If you're a fan like me, you already know who this is. It's about to get real dangerous. So Joe has tracked the suitcase somewhere in the sewer that he's going through. And AAA is like, look, can you hear me? It's kind of hard to figure out what's going on. Now, he was like there's some vibrations that come off when the trains are running but they're normally not like this right here so he blows the wall to see what's behind it boom so dr zorb was like oh great you're here this saves us the problem of having to hunt you down and he sees that the guys have body armor but he pulls out this shield weapon like i can handle this body armor let's go 
Yes, the power of this magnetic railgun can take down a tank, but if you modify the settings, it can magnetize everything around them that it hits. So all of them crash into each other and fall down, and they're running scared. Desorbo says it's so hard finding good help, and then Joe starts to realize what he starts to hear: a bone snapping, this sound of muscles being pulled to their limit, and this monster is growing. And he starts to realize that he remembers something Shield has always told him: there's always someone out there hungrier than you are, and worse than you. And that's when he realizes. Not Dr. Zorbo, but Mr. Hyde. This is a character who's been in the comics for years. He's fought in Daredevil. He's went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk. And he's like, I know I cannot handle this guy. What am I going to do? They're getting into some fisticuffs. And Hyde grabs Joe. And he's like, what are you going to do? You don't have anything for me? And he pulls out this taser. And he gives him a crazy line like, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. And he jams the taser right in his eye. Ah! Now Garrison's thinking, what can I do to survive this encounter? I hope the taser will take him out. So he grabs the suitcase with the growth harm on and holds it in front of him as Hyde punches him dang near through a wall and dents the suitcase. So he's thinking to himself, I only got one chance to make this work. While Hyde is on his rant, Joe grabs a handful of that mutant growth hormone and stuffs it down Hyde's throat, causing him to mutate even further than he can control himself, which is a smart move, especially a classic Punisher type move. As Hyde mutates out of control, Joe's attention is now focused on the Sokovian. I still got to get him and find out who sent him to take down my family. So that's what he's doing. In a true act of cowardice, the Sokovian grabs the innocent woman and holds her hostage and tells Joe basically, let me go and I let the train pass by and I'll leave her alone. Or test me and I'll kill her and you still won't have any information. What are you going to do? Now Joe's contemplating what is his next step. He's like, the Sokovian has me dead to rights. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, but the woman is still moving. The trains are going by real fast. I don't think I can make this shot. But then he sees the image of his wife. He says time slows down. And he knows what he had to do. He takes the shot. Bang! He knows it's a one in a million shot. The shot connects and down goes to Sokovian. That is the end. He knows he's just damned himself now for a life of being hunted. Because he has no answers. And also now people are looking for him. He has truly become the new Punisher. It ends with Joe saying that the Sokovian's punishment may be over, but mine has just begun. Triple A reaches out and says, did you get him? Are you done? He was like, I'm ready to get back to work. So there you have it, people. The new Punisher, Joe Garrison. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And if you really loved it, subscribe to the channel to know when new content drops just like this. Until next time, peace. If you don't have it, you are truly missing. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, your host Joseph? Big shit, eat, your host Joseph? Big shit, eat, your host Joseph? Big shit, eat, If you don't have it, you are truly missing. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? We are talking about big shit, eat,